Let's see, time now is 9.37. So, Simple Minds we're going to talk about now. Yeah, one of the biggest bands of the 1980s, releasing a string of hit singles, number one albums. They've played sellout tours across the world. They are still making music now. In fact, they've got a new album out. And Jim Kerr and Charlie Birchall came in to tell me all about it. We started the chat with a blast of some of those great songs. I, as I've probably explained to you before, we've known each other since we're eight years old, and really the band grew out of... It's really a school band. We're in the same class at school. And here we are, 45 years later, with this new album, Direction of the Heart, still just about getting away with it. <laughs> Go on then, Charlie, take us back. Can, when you see him sitting next to you now, do you have in your mind's eye the little eight-year-old Jim? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, mm. I can and remember. what was he like? Obviously, I mean, it was quite funny because his, Jim was always really trendy, even when he was really young, and I always remember... Bit of thinking, a stretch. And I, yeah, I mean, I remember thinking, I, I, he's got something, he's definitely got something, and uh, I think my hunch turned out to be right. <laughs> well, it turns out you were right. Yeah. But I, I understand, Jim, you were, you were quite shy as a child, is that right? Um, I had quite a pronounced stammer when um, I was young, so unless I was in, you know, in a company that I really felt comfortable with. I would, uh, I'd keep quiet for obvious reasons, but um, being around Charlie, being around the music, um, a lot of confidence when you're in a band. When we started the band, it's kind of, if you're a solo artist, you're just on your own, but it was kind of your little gang against the world. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, again, here we are. I mean, you were asking Charlie, you know, do you remember when I was... I remember the day Charlie got his first guitar. I think it was the day, but certainly there weren't many kids in the street. What age are, what age are we then? Oh, that must have been about 12 or something 12 like that. years old, you get the guitar. Yeah. And I, within a couple of months, he could play everything. And uh, so... Bad. He, he was a cool one. But was it a given then, at that moment in time, that Jim was going to sing, kind of for you, was that was that straight away? Can you remember? Were you, no, in your back room, are you in there? Uh, where are you when this is? I tell you, I tell you a story about how <clears throat> we're very lucky in as much that well, Charlie, the elder brother Jamie, who was the one that was really into all the underground records and going to gigs and all that, and he took Charlie to his first gigs. Um, I got the chance through a guy in class to go and see David Bowie when I was seven, when I was thirteen. And his brother was the manager at a local gig. And afterwards he said, you know, I'll, I'll get you out, you know, avoid the crowds. We, I didn't know at the time, but he took us under the stage. His boy and the band were coming off with all that gear. And no, I didn't think, I'm going to do that one day. <laughs> but I did think, somehow I want to get involved in this world, you know. I, I just realised it was that whole world. So I would have been happy to be Charlie's guitar roadie and... Probably that would have been a better thing, actually, for him. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, we knew, we both knew that we wanted to somehow be involved in that world. Uh, let's come right up to date, and we're going to hear a little bit of the new single. So let's hear that now. Yeah, well, Charlie also, again, growing up on the same street, Charlie was used to dad, and our parents were... It was our parents who gave us the first money to make the demo tapes and all that. So although... They didn't quite understand what we're up to. They could see we were passionate. And we just started writing the songs for Direction of the Heart. We were working in Glasgow at the time. This was pre-pandemic. And it became apparent Dad was really, really ill. But the thing, he was so adamant, get on with the work. What are you, I don't want you sitting around. So Charlie and I would work in the afternoon and then we'd go up and see him in the evening. And it, the first song we'd, we'd worked on, it, it became apparent as I was writing it, that we were writing about him, but kind of about all of our parents. And I have to say, we probably didn't appreciate them at the time, but our teachers and all that as well. We really realise now, when you look around the, the world, that we got a good deal. A lot of people really looked after us and I think gave us the tools to somehow negotiate our way through life. So it was time to write a song and praise of them, and that's what Vision Thing from Direction of the Heart is all about. You know, just, I mean, in some ways it's a, it's a bit of a task getting through life anyway, but if you get through it and you're, and you're happy and you've, and you've been supported, 
you know, you really, you, you got, you really. But we're alive and kicking, shall we? <laughs> Can you? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna. <laughs> can we? Can we do that thing where we're going to show you some old material now, and oh, then yeah, uh, you, and we go the and we hate behind. No, you did. No, so here, it's going to appear in the monitors down here, and you're going to talk <laughs> us through, Jim. <laughs> now, talk us through what's going on here. What's 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 the? Uh, that's uh, what is that, Charlie? That, I think that's in Man Manchester. We did that way back in the day. That's me. Um, not eating very much in those days. Um, they're exciting times. When I look back now, I mean, Charlie's the same. Sometimes we look back and you kind of cringe. But there's also a part of you now you go, yeah, God, that was exciting. When you've got classic songs like you have, do you ever have those moments when, you, I don't know, maybe you're driving the car somewhere and you've got the radio on and your own mute... I mean, is it naff to say your own music comes on and you just have a little... Do you have a little smile to yourself, wind the window down in Sicily and go, oh... I think that was us, that's me. Know. It's more about how the music makes you feel. And certainly, again, we would like to think with the new album, Direction of the Heart, that when we made it during the pandemic, the challenge we gave ourselves was to try and make a feel-good record in the worst of times. Sounds like a Mel Brooks movie. Yeah, <laughs> but, but we um, all need it, don't we? But we, we, all hope, need it. we hope we somehow get near to hitting the target. Love to see you both here. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, they are a very relaxed company, and it's worth saying as well, if you heard him, uh, I, I said to him, if it, when you're in Sicily, do you wind the window down? Which, of course, you do with the button now anyway. But uh, they both live in Sicily now. That's nice. where life is for yeah. them, and they recorded quite a lot of their music out there as well. It's so. a very chilled demeanour. Yeah. Very chilled. Uh, Simple Minds' new 